First off, thank you very much for giving us your time today, Aaron. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. No, not at all. We're really excited to get deeper understanding of Bailey CBD and just everything that comes along with what you guys are doing and what the company is all about. In short, my business partner Jay, his pug dog is Bailey the Pug. And in 2016, 2017, we saw an inevitable need for pet, hemp derived pet CBD products. We were one of the first brands that emerged onto the market. We wanted to help pets. We saw an opportunity. We both are musicians coming from different backgrounds. My business partner has over 10 plus years of medical cannabis experience. I have about 10 years plus of experience in business management. And so we worked together to launch our brand with passion and love and from our family to yours, you know, we want to make really high quality products that can be here for many years to come. What would you say are some of the main challenges to scaling a CBD brand here in the US? Oh, there's so many. We've gone over all of the hurdles from banking, insurance, traditional marketing channels, credit card processing, website scrutiny and regulation. We came into this as a bootstrapped operation with no business credit. We've gone through and overcame all of the hurdles that can be put in front of us as a business. That's really what makes us resilient. So many people in the US CBD industry hop in with exit plans before operations even began. We've seen so many players come and go. It is a market that is consolidating. There is more regulation with California here to having a Department of Health licensure program. Uh, with that, there's even, even states that are trying to ban hemp derived products like Washington and Florida consolidated solely under cannabis. So it's definitely not an industry for everybody. What were some of the biggest hurdles you guys faced before you decided to team up with Ember Tribe? For CBD, it's really difficult for us to traditionally market our brand like somebody else who may have a non-CBD supplement can do on Facebook ads, Google ads. Even when you do get through those hurdles, the cost per acquisition, it's insane. SEO is really the long-term winning indicator for the pet CBD industry. That's what we're coming to realize because you can own your traffic and you aren't object to having such a high amount of capital to put up 60 to $120 plus per customer acquisition costs. For us, it's really the hurdles that we've seen have been struggling to get onto the first page of important keywords, to expand our keyword volume, to really take over in the industry for getting clicks. And since we have been working with you guys, I mean, our SEO has gone from a point where we have almost quadrupled in size and organic clicks and traffic. The users and revenue, they definitely align. So with that, we wanna keep pushing forward in that direction. We realize that there's so much power in owning the audience. Also for us to be able to even get into the paid space, it doesn't make sense unless we are able to remarket to a sizable audience. For that, you know, having 20, 30,000 organic clicks versus having four or 5,000 organic clicks gives us a lot more value in the future when we wanna run remarketing campaigns to be able to get better customer acquisition costs, and better data on, on the campaign so that we don't have to put so much financial effort into finding that customer in the long run. What were some of the dynamics with the team here at Ember Tribe when you first started working with us? Uh, your team was really awesome in delivering information effectively. It, it really seemed like it was just the perfect alignment of values for where we were as a brand and where we wanted to keep investing in to get the types of results that we're hoping for. You know, I can keep paying for external backlinks However, if we don't have the index pages, Google, it's like going under the hood. SEO is definitely not a cut and dry thing. There's a lot of nuance to it. And there's a lot of people that try to pinpoint certain things to be the main value affecting tool. But you guys really gave us a really clear landscape of where we were, where our efforts were at, as far as what kind of results we were getting with our current efforts. and what kind of potential results we could get with the work that we put in. And after we did put in the work, it definitely made it work. And we started seeing strides in our, our organic clicks to the point where I'm on SEMrush almost every day, just like looking and, and getting excited when I see a spike in traffic or we see a, a really high value keyword go from like position 10 to position one that we've been really just working on. The cool thing is, I mean, what, what we did with you guys helped boost up everything else that we were doing, all this clean cleaning up on the back end that we were doing on our website, it wouldn't have been able to shine if we didn't have all these index pages that were really high quality to boost the effectiveness of what we were doing on this other side of the SEO landscape. 
How would you say that Cluster Magic has switched up your approach to how you view or even operate with SEO? Yeah, it, it definitely was a eye-opening experience being able to understand the importance of having a certain number of index pages and average word counts and just having an idea of the gaps of where we were. They have this thing in SEO called the gap analysis. And I think that what you guys do and the information that you guys served was part of a gap analysis that you can't really get just on RFs or something like this, unless you have the expertise to know what you're looking for and to really go in there and put it onto a presentation format where you can really pinpoint where we are versus other websites that are that are currently winning and to figure out how we can bridge that gap. You guys definitely opened up a perception of information and knowledge in my mind that I didn't know was there, but I was aiming for. Yeah, it's definitely been a game changer for our brand. What would you say are the major changes that you noticed right when we started with Cluster Magic for Bailey CBD? Yeah, obviously it does take time because, you know, we have to go through our content plan and get the deliverables and the deliverables do drip over time. However, once we did start indexing pages, after I would receive a deliverable, I would go and post it to the blog and immediately index that page on Google. And then just having that consistent increase in keywords and traffic was really impactful for us and that's really what wanted us to just keep pushing on to to keep doing better you know what would you say are some of the biggest wins you guys have accomplished by using cluster magic the traffic that we have in our website and the starting keywords and the current keywords where we're at the volume it, it really speaks for itself Everything else that we've been doing in SEO for the past three, four years since we have been focusing on it, by doing all these blogs and indexing them consistently, it's really helped everything else. So what you guys have done is really bridged a huge gap in what we were doing as a brand. And the, the cool wins are things like seeing a certain keyword that is maybe not even uh, directly affiliated to the pet CBD specific, but it's something that is still pet specific and it could be something that's wellness or health related, garnering to the same audience that we're already serving. To be able to get new traffic from these colder areas that can still be really warm um, is just very interesting. And, and the effect has driven actual revenue for our brand to a point where we really get pumped up about posting more blogs now and investing more into it because we see that it is working and the effect that it can have on our website. We really care about our users and Ember Tribe gives us the opportunity to attract new users that are going to inevitably want to use our products. And you guys definitely have been an incremental part of our whole holistic funnel of what we do to sell our products.